recording from Melbourne. It's our third day here, actually. But the first two days were kind of a flop. We uh, spent a lot of time driving the Great Ocean Road, which was great, but when we got into the city, the weather worsened quite a bit, and it was cold and rainy and miserable outside for the last couple days. We took a trip to Yara Valley yesterday, and we had a hot air balloon flight over Yara Valley booked, and it got canceled due to weather. We rescheduled it for today, it got canceled as well, so that's our last day, so no luck for us. And Yara Valley is a very famous region with wineries and just beautiful scenery. We made it over there, pouring rain yesterday, so that experience was not what we expected. rain it's kind of misty drizzly and uh, we're gonna take a stop at the chocolate to read and now there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin We also went to the Hillsville Sanctuary, which is a, just a great place to see all kinds of Australian animals. And even though it was pouring rain yesterday, we got to see quite a bit. Do you think it needs to be tucked in? That's, yes, that's the look. So this is how we have to go to the sanctuary. <laughs> pouring. Melbourne oh weather has not been kind to us. Be careful. Again, it's good. Hey, 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 this is Dasha's spirit animal. <laughs> There's a koala sleeping just there. I want to pet him. I want to pet the little guy. Look, there's a roof right there. And this guy is sleeping on the <laughs> only tree that doesn't have the roof. <laughs> and there's no leaves above it, so he's just getting rained on, but he doesn't, doesn't care, he's just care. sleeping. <laughs> Dreamy, breezy, we go. Today is our last full day here in Melbourne and we want to enjoy the city as much as we can. 
Melbourne reminds me of Pacific Northwest a lot, the climate here and lifestyle here, I would say. It's a foodie city, but it's also got a lot of its own culture, so we'll try to see a little bit of that as well. Well, it's time to head out for brunch, which is a big thing in Melbourne. We're going to a place called Higher Ground, which is just a couple blocks away from where we're staying. Is it just me? Or is it hard to agree? With what you're trying to explain I don't mind feather wings No diamond rings But that's not how you get to me No well, We've had brunch at Higher Ground uh, It was very unique and delicious It's sort of like a higher end approach to breakfast food which is something that's Melbourne specific. They take their brunch very seriously rather than just simple breakfast and egg. They make a whole meal out of it, like a dinner at a restaurant. We could sit in the shade, talk to late, and then we'll see. We can go for walks, short on the city park. Just maybe Now let's talk about coffee. Melbourne is well known for their coffee. They export their cafe culture worldwide. Most places we go here, coffee is absolutely delicious from a random hole in the wall coffee shop to obviously a fancier brunch place. Flat white of course is the Australian staple and I've tried a few of those now. My heart is a pumping a little, little faster, but uh, very good coffee all around. Well, I am in Federation Square right now, sort of the central area of Melbourne, surrounded by some of the major architectural landmarks. You have the Flinders Station on one side, the big cathedral on the other, and of course the museums here. Sweet delivery is never guaranteed the place or time oh, I like when you're whispering and really listening not too much fuss so keep it easy we can sit in the shade I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring without Daria. She felt a little under the weather. She's back at the hotel resting. And I'm gonna hit the streets of Melbourne. Melbourne has a very rich food culture and it's amazing how many different types of food you can find here. Anything from Asian kitchen to Italian, Mediterranean and a lot of it is very very good. Daria and I already tried great pork dumplings at the Shanghai Dumpling House in Chinatown. Also pretty decent poke, Hawaiian specialty of course I just had for lunch. You can go down a lot of these narrow laneways in the central business district and stumble upon restaurant upon restaurant.
just south of the Federation Square, if you cross the Yarra River, there's a huge sprawling area full of parks, gardens, lawns um, available for folks who live here for relaxing, sporting activities, and things like that. It feels very calm and peaceful here, even in the middle of a busy city.